Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nisa and today is another mat day. So we're gonna look at the Victoria Crown Penguin. Sorry, Pigeon. Not the same bird. Um, and it's made by Leaf M and MGR. He's credited as, I think it's Mega Gaming Racks, but when it only says MTR, it is possible that it's someone else. So sorry if I say something wrong today. Um, but it is, as you can see here, wait, sorry. Yeah, my um, chair is um, broken. So sometimes I slide off it. It's not that good. Um, I get a new next week. Um, but here it is. It's beautiful. It has this deep blue color uh, as i saw on the pictures i'm not sure if it's light or if it's coloration but some of them look more like um coral blue sorry not coral blue what's it called like um, this beautiful lagoon blue i think it's called uh, and very bright and vibrant and some of them are a deeper more royal blue so it, i'm not sure if it's light or age or coloration or what it is but i see a little bit of different and then it have this reddish on this picture some of them are more like a reddish purple uh this is more like a reddish brown uh breast plate uh that blend in on the bottom but up here it seems more it's um blended a little bit up here uh, and on the side, but it's more like a ombre down on the chest. And then it have on the side these shorter, lighter feathers and this lighter ombre in the face. So it's lighter the closer to the beak it get. And it have these red eyes. So we have a lot to look at today. And if I can open my game, that would help a lot. Thank you. Um, I think they are made on the P-File rig. Um, not sure, but there's a few things like the sound, the movement, and the enrichment we will go over later. So there's a bit going on there. Uh, we should also have some babies somewhere, but honestly... Oh, is that... Is that... Okay, we have an albino here, but something clearly went wrong. I'm going to show you in just a second. I'm just going to find the... Um, not that one, that one. Look at its picture. <laughs> um, something clearly went wrong. And I know these mothers have a lot on their plate, so I don't blame them for anything. Um, but it's just... Yeah. <laughs> it happens on a few mods, honestly. And sometimes it's only the one coloration. But uh, again... It still says the right name, so I don't see it as an issue. Though this is a juvenile. This is a adult. There's a little bit of a size difference. Juvenile. But it is kind of hard to spot the juvenile. So if you really want like these cute, small uh, juvenile with a completely different color. I can't uh, give you that here. Um... Here it is a near threatened animal and the population in the wild is unknown. They lived in Asia Oceania, uh, down in this corner, down here, you can see it up here. Uh, yeah, Bono, New Guinea. Yeah, it's, it fits. Sometimes these mats is a little iffy, but it seems to fit here. In timber, tropical, and grassland biome, so you have a bit to choose between, and one of them needs 312 square meters of land, nothing else, and they live from 3 to 42 degrees Celsius, so even though they live in temperate, protect them for the snow, at least give them a good warm house. Uh, great to fence, 4 feet 95. That's a meter... in 60 or something like that that's a lot for such a little bird um over here we have group size from 4 to 20 that's up to four males and up to 16 females and it doesn't matter if it's mixed or not 
Uh, dominance is unknown. The air pull amorous, confident, and guess can enter the habitat. Uh, grow to the size of about three inch long and live for around 20 years and weigh around th seven pounds. That's three and a half kilo. Reach sexual maturity at age 10. So it will take a while for them compared to their lifespan to start to reproduce. It's only half their life. Um, but then they can reproduce until they die. They will give between two and six offspring every year and be pregnant for a single month. But they should still be very easy to get to reproduce in captivity. They have half interspecies enrichments with the proboscis monkey. Actually, funny to choose a monkey and not the bunny and orangutan since they live on Borneo. But again, they probably research. Again, I research animal for my speed build. I don't research them for these mud videos because I simply don't have the time. Sometimes there's something where I feel like I need to understand this. But besides that, I don't. Here you can see it's the normal peafowl enrichment. So if you go to habitat right in peafowl, you will get the right stuff. It's the sprinkler, the mirror thingy, and the herbs and marker. And then it's the forester and the slow feeder. Uh, yeah. But let's get up to them here. Here you can see on the chest, as I mentioned, uh, the picture we saw was more a reddish brown. Uh, but some of the pictures I saw were closer to this color. So I wouldn't count that out yet. We have these small feathers up here and they honestly aren't that great close up. It looks really weird here, you can see. But it works so perfectly from out here. And honestly, most of us look at the animals from out here or out here. So I honestly think that uh, it was a good way to do it. Um, here the feathers that do look a lot more like fur. Oh, uh, we had a little bit of glitching there. Keep in mind that might be my computer. So maybe, I can't promise, but maybe this won't happen on your computer. Uh, here the fur, we have lines in the fur, which you know I don't like. But the feathers, yeah, as you know, everything with feathers, if the feathers are even possible, as feathers, if you can recognize that this was supposed to be feathers, then I'm amazed because we have really bad feathers in Panasu, even from Frontier. So here I'm actually quite amazed. Uh, they did choose a completely di different texture. They look very flat. They don't look like this look not that great, but it looks 3D. This looks very great. But it looks 2D for some reason. You can see like this is in front of this. But if you only pick out this. It's hard to see if this is supposed to be closer. Or this is supposed to be closer. I think. Um, then we have some other feathers up here. And here I get sad. Because you got these. You got these. Then why do this? Why? I don't get it. And also over here you have a kind of good way of doing it here where you have the fur, as I would call it, cover the edge of the feathers. Here it looks like very weird. Very weird. But again, a lot, keep in mind, especially if you're new here, I point out all of these things because I see it as funny. Probably most of it. Um, if you play a game from out here or further away, you will never notice it. Therefore, this will never affect your game, basically. Uh, the eyes is this beautiful red color. It looks weird, but it, the animal looks weird with a red color on the coloration of bird. So, uh, again, it's not the mud, it's the animal. The beak, however, seems very good compared to a lot of the other things here we have seen. Uh, the ring around the eyes, I don't really want to talk about. And also that we have this, again, fur here. And then nothing, and then fur again. That's weird. And we also... Ooh! 
Uh, can I show you? Can I find the right? Yeah. Can you see here? It's still made like hair. I understand like when some of the mothers do this, but here, if you see a hair strand goes from there to there, if we even recognize this should be feathers, then why are they cut over a few times? Why? And how does we make this angle? Again, a few things you never would know if you just play the game, so it doesn't affect and make this much bad for any reason uh, compared to that. It's just something I noticed. The feed here is as good as the feed from the game. And, uh, oh, I actually like that coloration right there. Like, it's blended. But it still seems like it starts the like starts off here and the first of it is, is covered with the others and maybe the skin up here is blue. That I really like. Uh, but again, we have a fair amount of babies in here and I can't... This is a baby. This is a baby. This is a baby. That's a adult. That's a adult, so it seems like maybe if we look at the coloration, the purple is deeper over here on the juveniles than it is over here. I'm not sure. I'm not completely sure, but I think so. Um, here, when you look at it this way, it looks weird. The animal just looks weird, but as soon as you don't click on it, it looks perfectly fine. So uh, yeah, another mod where I will say this adds something to the game. So if you want a new colorful bird and we need more birds in the game, then this is clearly an option. If you really want to go in and get these close-ups all the way up there, then there may be a few issues in there. But besides that, guys, the only one who decide which mods you should use is you. And therefore, if you like it, get it if you don't don't anyway guys you know the drill like subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time i upload a video i really hope to see you again either in the comments below or in the next video bye guys